YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Let's talk about what's going on with NVIDIA and why the stock has been pulling back. Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So NVIDIA has been one of the hottest stocks this year uh, as we have continued to be earnings after earnings after earnings. And not only that, this year we are up 126.73% as we speak. Now, the price currently is at $111.63. Uh, and we've gotten as high as $141 and some change. And now, during this pullback, a lot of investors has, have become a little skeptical about NVIDIA. But for me, uh, I just find it as an opportunity to buy NVIDIA at a cheaper price. Now, let's go into exactly what's going on and talk about what's been going on with NVIDIA especially to start off this week. Now, this article uh, is titled, NVIDIA stock pulls back ahead of a big weekly test. Now let's talk about what the weekly test is. The week ahead brings a packed slate of semiconductor earnings as well as reports from companies that spend heavily on NVIDIA hardware. So that's key. So NVIDIA Corp shares turn south midday and Monday alongside the broader semiconductor sector ahead of a series of earnings report that could signal the pace of spending on artificial intelligence hardware. So this is a key key test because we want to know if if AI is profitable right now. So a lot of the hype has been uh put into the current prices of AI stocks. But now we got to get down to the nitty gritty and we need to know if AI is actually going to be profitable or is it just hype. Now, shares of N NVIDIA have been up as much as 2.8% uh, today, but we're down 0.9% in the late morning action. Uh, they're on track to drop for the fourth session out of the past five days. Uh, and as we speak right now, NVIDIA uh, has closed uh, down pretty much flat, down 1.3%. That's flat for NVIDIA. Now, the PHLX Semiconductor Index, SOX, had been on track for a strong session as well, as well before pulling back down 0.2% at recent check with more than half of components now in the red. Now, the index's biggest positive standout on the day is on semiconductor uh, corp stock ON, up more than 12%. On semi posted unbeat profit figures early money to kick off a busy week of earnings for the sector. There will be other notable reports in the sector this week, including those from AMD, Western Digital, and Intel. Now, Intel, you guys know, is one of my favorite stocks. It's in the Dow Jones. Check it out if you don't know much about it. You may recognize it from the sticker on your computer, or you may just notice it from other, some other technical gadget. Now, AMD's report is especially of interest as it will show how the company is faring as it seeks to be a second source besides NVIDIA of AI graphics processing units. Investors recently have been worried about potential AMD order cuts after NVIDIA's GTC event earlier this year. Now it's always healthy, guys, to have companies that are in the same space you're in um, to, because of competition. Now competition is going to push you and it's going to uh, help you get either your biggest uh, amount of, of upside or your lowest amount of downside. So that's why competition is needed. Now Wall Street will also be giving close watch to reports from outside the semiconductor sector as they look to gauge NVIDIA's future pathway, commentary from Microsoft, Amazon, and Meta all out this week uh, should indicate how those companies see their capital spending on AI hardware growing in the near future. Okay, now another the key issue is whether those companies are seeing return on that AI spending, which is important for those hoping the hyperscale cloud providers will continue their heavy AI investments. So 
right now that's where we stand as far as um nvidia we we just want to know if ai is profitable and so if it's not profitable for microsoft uh meta amazon and some of the these other major companies then nvidia could potentially take a hit this week just because of speculation and the market is going to want to price that in okay and now if nvidia comes out uh, in the next couple of weeks and they show that they're profitable then we'll recoup all of those losses if that's something that's going to happen so now what i want to do is kind of look at what we have going on on the chart for this week and so if you know microsoft meta amazon are showing that they're not profitable along with arm i believe is uh presenting this week which nvidia has stake in that stock if intel is not showing profit after a not so good uh previous earnings um if things are not looking so good guys we're 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 going to <laughs> We're gonna retest some 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 levels that we have not seen in a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and and bring this chart out. So right now we're sitting at one hundred and eleven dollars, and so let's go with the three month. And so I'm gonna be honest with you guys and say this: if if we uh, have a terrible week, we're going to retest one hundred, and if we can't hold there, the next leg down would be about $95 okay so this is why this is a big week because all of the capital that's factored into to AI and AI being profitable is already in this and if these major companies aren't showing that they're being profitable or sure some show some sort of forecast of being profitable Nvidia is going to come down too it's, especially when we think about Microsoft um microsoft i think is one of the biggest indicators now if we're going to go to the upside uh we can go back to revisit 120 and then if we find a, a strong level of support there we can work our way back up to 125 which is one of those biggest uh levels that we've been hitting time and time again so overall, in a nutshell, this is what's going on uh, with NVIDIA. Let me know what you guys think about what's going on. Let me know, do you think these other companies like Microsoft, Meta, Amazon could have an impact on the stock this week? Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything you would like for me to post, my email is down at the bottom, uh, which you can see on the screen here. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we're out, guys.